Quarter-final time with Uni facing Fairfield Liverpool in the Kingsgrove T20s. The away side elected to bat and a powerful top order looked to apply early pressure. Brothers has absolutely slammed this one. It just beats the field on the fence there. It beats the field there. Oh, and this is an absolute ripper of a shot onto the embankment here at University Open for set. Informed bowler Kieran Tate got the first breakthrough, seeing the back of Simmons. Oh, and he's bowled on. Um, he's played it on. He's tried to go for the big point, but it's taken at the middle stump. Corellas and Sharma took the attack to the students. And he's gone for this one. It's an absolute ripper of a shot. That's all the way for six. One for 36, one left in the fourth. Here goes Selzman again. And he's cracked this one, and that's going to be four as well. This is a full toss, and Sharma has absolutely slammed it for six. Onto the hill, over the picket fence. What a great shot. Before skipper Tim Cummins took an absolute ripper to give Devlin Malone his first wicket. It's up. Oh, what a catch! What a catch by the student. The home side then got on top during the surge as Will Solzman took two wickets in four balls. Full toss, he's absolutely cracked it. And he's caught. So Salzman again. And he's bowled a middle stump, that's a beauty. On what was a good pitch, Fairfield's batters didn't Three slow hits. the pace with Oronofsky being the main threat. The onside and they will pick up a boundary behind square leg. <laughs> Never look the part, right? Oronofsky has climbed into this one, picks up half a dozen. But Sydney University continued to chip away at the wickets. Kieran Tate picking up his second with a well-executed slower ball. Oh, so he's deceived him there, Tate. Nice delivery. Oronofsky and Langdon then built a strong partnership, passing the 50 mark and taking their side to a competitive total. Over the head of the man there, Jordan Gauchi at short cover. The change of innings as Hikita comes in again and push through the offside, just goes through the hands of the man there at backward point. And uh, Onowski do to this one. He goes back in his crease. He goes high, just over the head of Akita there at backward point. Yeah, we'll just see where he gets in the position here. Saltzman, though, I'm sure he'll be wise to it. Comes in again, and he does go across his stumps there. Does Onowski, and it's very well played. Onowski compiling a well-made 50 before being caught in the deep in the last over. High. Well judged, well taken. Fairfield Liverpool setting Sydney University a target of 158 to secure a place in the semi-finals. Through, but it'll be a run out there by the keeper. Well done. Here Will Salzman and Jack Attenborough got the home side off to the perfect start with some early boundaries. And a good cut shot through the gap, and that could roll away for four. It's a long boundary out. Got quite a big run up, Liam Hatcher, playing for New South Wales. Flicks it off the pads. What a great shot for four around the corner on the 45 degree angle. Salzman. He's given us a whack, and that could roll away for four. There we go. Right-handed batter. Oh, and that's a nice square drive there. He bowls now, and he slams this one over the fielders on the onside. Baraba again. And Salzman has smashed this for four. That's a crunching shot. Before a change in bowling saw Jack Attenborough bowled for 18 and Damian Mortimer caught a deep fine leg. To get the reverse going. Oh, just wait again there. Is it swept away? And it's gone. We'll get back to that in a minute. There's a second. With run rate pressure increasing, Cummins looked to up run rate, but left arm spinner Cam Frendo had the batter stumped to leave Uni two for 66 halfway through their innings. Cummins now faces, he comes down the ground and he's stumped. That's the way Tim Cummins plays. He's always going to try and push that run rate along no matter what. Opener Will Salzman was still there, launching a six onto the hill. On strike, has a swing, and that's all the way. That's a huge six. The four three classy boundaries in the 14th over took the all-rounder past his half century. And he's put this one away. That is all the way for half a dozen. Four for 24 he was. Driven down the ground and it beats the fielder. What a great off drive that is for four. He runs in now, Baraba. Oh, what a great shot that was. Four runs. The start of the 15th over had the crowd on their feet. Oh, what a great shot this one is. It's gone all the way for six. 50 off 35. They've really put the foot down. He's done it again. This could go all the way. It does. Jordan Gauchi taking Liam Hatcher for back-to-back -back sixes before getting caught going for a but third. This time they've got him. They've got him caught. He's tried the same shot. 
The game then took another twist when Salzman was well caught on the boundary. Salzman goes down the ground. What a catch on the boundary! And Ryan McElduff was stumped to give Fairfield the ascendancy. 43 still required. It's gone. McElduff tries to go down the wicket. The students didn't back down and a flurry of late boundaries left the home team needing 14 off the last over. So, he'll be looking to go straight here, you would think the big man, and he does go straight. It beats the keeper and it's four! As much as it can in such a short space of time as again he goes oh, past the keeper no. for four again. Oh. He's bowled him! But spinner Cam Frendo kept a tight last six balls, securing his team the victory and finishing with fantastic figures of 5 for 25. In the Kings Grove Sports Centre T20 Cup. He goes down the ground, he goes high, and it's out. Straight down the, straight down to that man. A fantastic game concludes with Fairfield Liverpool progressing to the semi-finals. Oh, there he goes. Burma hits the last ball for six, but it's too late.